Hello, hello, hello there. Um, I have these two um, handbags and it's from this brand, um, Corette. Corette is probably the most popular vintage bag uh, designer. It's, uh, you know, well-known. It's uh, very famous. And um, yeah, so when we talk about uh, vintage handbags, the first brand that pops into your mind would be uh, Corette. All right, so I have... Um, a croc embossed uh, Corette handbag here on the left, and um, a real, I mean, a real ostrich leather on the right. Okay, so these two bags were bought from the flea market last Saturday. Okay, and uh, let's talk about this handbag first. Okay, oh, um, let's talk about Corette first. This um, uh, famous designer Corette was established in 1929 um, and they still make bags up to present. They are based in um, New York City and at one point, um, I think it was in, the, in 1979, 1969, it was sold to um, Levi Strauss. So yeah, and one, uh, one interesting bit of information here. Um, of course, their specialty is cool, whimsical, luxurious, exotic skin handbags popular with the rich and famous in the 50s and um, 60s. And they were sold exclusively by J. Thorpe and Saks Fifth. Okay, you know, Saks Fifth has always been an exclusive distributor of um, high-end um, brands up to today. And then, um, yeah... The signature features are extravagant travel bags, sophisticated daytime, daytime bags, and sensible pocketbooks, generous totes, stunning evening alligator and crocodile handbags gleaming with gems and gilt. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah. Okay. They were a popular, very, very popular in the 50s and 60s. So, from 1929. So, they are still, you know, it's... It's, I would say, prolific company because until now, they're still producing handbags. Okay, so this is very, very new. I could still smell the leather. And I would, I thought this was not, uh, of course, when I first saw it, I, I knew then that, of course, this is a vintage type, right? Um, but because of the condition it's in, it is... Excellent. It's mint condition. You you can there are no flaws at all. And um yeah, so I thought hmm, could this be uh could this be a contemporary handbag, you know? Because, you know, I know the features are vintage, the features um it, but then it's the quality. It's like until now it's still in great condition. All right. So let's talk about the hardware. The hardware, it's gold. But this one is silver. But I just love the hardware. Look at that. It's still shiny. So it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And it's like in a patent leather. This is croc embossed. It's not real. But it's gorgeous. I don't see. And you, you can actually um, uh, adjust this. Oh, there's just a bit of scratch here, but it's not a biggie. All right. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. Now, let's do this. Okay, look at that. That's the flap. It's made of um, smooth leather, but it's tougher. <laughs> and, of course, the, this. That's the interior of the bag and the ever famous Corette genuine leather. And this is an old bag. If it didn't come with this, I would say maybe it was made, you know, uh, recently. But, you know, vintage bags came with these coin purse. And it's so, it's so thin, you know. Where did see it's built in? It's I love 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 this, and it's new that you you can't you can't see any signs of um 
usage at all. When I bought this, it was a, it was so new. I bought this for $15. So I was like, oh, I love it. I'm going to get it. I had to go back. Okay. And now I have this um, ostrich leather. And um, I only have one uh, real ostrich handbag in my possession. And that's my Hermes Constance. And when I saw this, I didn't even know who the maker was, of course. How would you know? I just like the, you know, the shape, the structure of this bag is just so unique. So I said, okay, I want that. And the, the hardware, again, it's the hardware that stands out. Okay, so this is a very odd-looking handbag. It has stains, but of course, you know, what do you expect? This is an old handbag. And... um. I like it because it's it's a real ostrich and I could always repaint it. But I think I like I like it the way it is. All right. Now, the interior however shows some wear because it's been stored for a very long time. It says made of genuine ostrich. And these are um this is what you get. It's like um, the piano, <laughs> the ivory, when it gets old, my piano teacher had this uh, an old piano from uh, imported from Germany and they had all turned to this uh, color and that just, you know, it just reminds me, oh, she's, she's dead now, but um, yeah, so Coret, that's the famous thing and um, yeah, uh, you could uh, you could um, take the whole thing out. The the owner, I mean the seller, had some white bits here, and I said, "What are those?" Oh, don't worry about those. That's just baking soda because you know, old old um, bags uh, do come with a, a little you know uh, where the smell. It's an old bag smell, so she put uh, baking soda to uh, um, to absorb the smell. So. I already cleaned it and I've wiped it with soap and water and I mean not not soap a damp um damp cloth and um yeah I could probably ask uh somebody to remove the stains here but I'm really really not bothered I could take the the dry cleaner and it came with this pocket again See it's really really nice I can't even open it sorry okay so there and what i did was i couldn't uh find my my air freshener for for clothes so i just sprayed my jo malone <laughs> and now it smells orangey now so it's really good it's really nice it's it's luxurious um satin or silk black lining so it's really really good except for this bit i'm really really annoyed but you know what can you do it's an old handbag um, it's gonna show some wear and stain and unless I bring it to um, I could bring that but it's not it's not uh, it's not bothersome and yeah I love it <laughs> the design is just so unique so when I I look for handbags especially um, vintage bags I look for wow the structure and look this is genuine ostrich oh you could see it's, it's really really raised the bumps are raised and the quills, they call it the quill, the quills. And then see if it's uneven, it is real. So some of them, this is the neck part where there's a, a bit of uh, like absence of pores here. So, yeah. I saw some on eBay that have a nice, uh, uh, that's in, that are in excellent condition. But, uh, you know. This is my find. I like I like finding treasures. I like um, sometimes I, I I go online, special on eBay. But uh, when it comes to vintage bags, I really really want to feel it. You know, I want to feel it, and I really really want to see it first and smell it because I've I have I, I have um, wasted too many bags in the past because I would buy them and then I couldn't get the smell out and I would just end up you know chopping it up for arts and crafts or putting it in the garbage or just giving it away so yeah 
correct handbags. So they have stood the test of time. And um, these handbags are really, really nice. All right. I, I have another correct handbag somewhere. I can't remember. And my aunt uh, took one of them. It was in patent leather and that was really, really gorgeous. But anyway, these are what I have at the moment. So I'm just sharing it with you. Okay. Bye.